Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert an SD card on the Moto G5 and the G5 Plus as well as move applications to SD card on these handsets. The dual SIM come micro SD card slot on the Moto G5 and G5 Plus is not particularly user friendly and many people are confused as to how to install an SD card on it. So what you have to do first is use a SIM ejector pin to take out the SIM card slot. Then insert the SD card on the opposite end of where the SIM card slots are installed with the golden contact points of the SD card facing down towards the bottom. Then proceed to insert the SIM card tray into the phone with the face of the SD card facing the same direction as the screen of the phone. Now before I tell you the steps on how to set up the SD card and move applications to it, you need to know about adoptable storage. Introduced with Marshmallow, adoptable storage allows Android to adopt the external storage so that it acts as an internal one. The feature is very useful to have but it's slightly more complex than how the OS used to previously handle external storage. You still have the option of not using the adoptable storage feature but then you'll only be limited to using the SD card for transferring files to and fro from your PC and other devices. Now there are a few pros and cons of adoptable storage. If you end up using it, Android will first format and encrypt the card and then it will offer you the option to move your existing applications and data to it. Now, if you end up using adoptable storage, the total internal storage of your Moto G5 or G5 Plus will increase by almost the same size as the SD card inserted. So if you insert a 32 GB micro SD card on a 32 GB Moto G5 Plus, the total internal storage on the handset will increase to around 60 GB. Once you have inserted the SD card, head over to settings, storage and USB. There, you should see the SD card under Portable Storage. Tapping on it will open a file manager. From there, tap the 3 dot overflow menu button and select the storage settings option. You should now see a format as internal option. Tap on it followed by erase and format. Now, the SD card will be formatted by your Moto G5 or G5 Plus and will be adopted with the internal storage. The formatting procedure can take its own time depending on the size of the SD card. It's highly recommended that you use a class 10 or faster SD cards so as to ensure that the system performance is not affected in any way. Once the formatting procedure is complete, you will automatically be prompted to move your existing data to the new storage drive. You can either choose the move now or move later option depending on what you want. If you use the move now option, the process can take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes depending on the data you have on the phone. During this process, the phone will transfer your photos, videos and some of the installed and compatible applications to the external storage. The camera app by default will also start saving your photos and videos to the external storage. Now for any new apps or games that you install, Android OS will automatically decide where to install it depending on the amount of free storage space you have. Now to manually move apps to SD card, simply head over to settings, apps and then tap on the application name that you want to move to SD card. Under storage, you will see that the existing install disk of the application is shown. Tap on it and if the application is compatible with adoptable storage, you will get an option to change the storage used to the external micro SD card. Most of the heavy games and applications do support adoptable storage feature, though many smaller and popular apps are not compatible with it. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. If there's anything else you want to know about adoptable storage feature or how to move apps to SD card on the Moto G5 and G5 Plus, drop a comment below and let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do like this video if you have not already done so. Thanks for watching.